Hello and welcome to Middlebury 5.0. I am your host, Officer Chris Mason, and with me in the studio today is Paul Reynolds from the Vermont Mozart Festival. Well, welcome to the show, Paul. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. And you look um, spectacular well, today. Look at that. Thank you. Uh -huh. is, Paul, this, this is this every day? Or? Well, I am. I, I have another name, Amadeus, as you know. <laughs> I yes. am, and I go by that. Uh -huh often with the festival. Is your nom de guerre. I'm starting to <laughs> feel a little bit confused, like I have a split personality because occasionally mm -hmm. I just turn into Mozart. Mm -hmm. I turn into Amadeus and I just can't help it. And you, just, I just, you drift into character. I drift into it? character. It could happen just, at any moment. It really though. could. Yeah. It really could. And <laughs> it's the part of the Mozart well, Festival is to, you know, bring back Mozart, my music, the mm -hmm. music that I wrote, <laughs> yes. and bring it to the, to the people again. So re revivify it, make it, make it alive. We're, yeah, we're making yeah. it alive, we're repurposing mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and we'll get to that in a minute, but yeah, sure. we're, I'm here for, um, for the Vermont Mozart Festival, representing them. And you look spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the hair especially is very striking. Uh, I hear there yeah. was a movie made of me. I think so. Yeah, yeah called Amadeus. So. Yes. so that's why I'm using that name currently because <laughs> people, people just want to, uh -huh. they love the name Amadeus. I, mm -hmm. always, I always liked Wolfie, personally. Mm -hmm. but Wolfie. Uh, Wolfie? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my sweet Constanza? <laughs> I tell you, this time travel is very, mm -hmm. very bizarre. Yeah, it will probably take its toll. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. it does. It does. But... But it's oh, worth it. Mm -hmm. I'm in this beautiful place called Vermont where there's these lights. I'm not used to that. I'm used to the candles mm -hmm. on, the, in, on the table. Sure. And everything's a little darker. And then I, the people are handing me these gadgets and gizmos mm -hmm. and electricity. <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> making sense, but I'll, mm -hmm. I'm adapting. And I'm having right. a wonderful time meeting all c kinds of wonderful mm -hmm. uh, Vermonters, as they mm -hmm. call them. Well, you're, you're a genius, so I, I would imagine that if anybody can adapt, if anybody can, can bridge <laughs> this divide, it would be a person such as yourself. Well, I'm, I, I'm thrilled at the fact that I'm still alive. Somehow I ended up here. Looking back in my past, they told me that I had, I had perished at a very young age. So right. by coming here, I have mm -hmm. managed to skip that mm -hmm. happening in my life, and mm -hmm. I am moving forward in mm -hmm hopefully write some new music, maybe right. some new symphonies. Yeah. Well, you, you know? need to go back and finish that Requiem, first of all. That would probably be like... I did hear about that. Yeah. And I heard there was a <laughs> Ludwig van something that came <laughs> after me. Yes. And I haven't heard his music yet, but, mm -hmm. but I heard I, was, I influenced him very, very much I've so. Heard that. So I'm very, heard that also, yeah. very pleased with myself yeah. there. So mm -hmm. all is well. Probably all music since your day is, is it has been in some way influenced by you I mean, it was such a epic figure that yes it has uh -huh. it has and i was influenced by uh you know johann sebastian bach who mm -hmm. i who i adored and 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 um haydn mm -hmm. wonderful composer and you know a lot of a lot of um a lot of wonderful composers that came before me and it's interesting to see who came after me i'm, I'm still reading about it but it's, it's fascinating <laughs> but i think i did yes. touch up upon them and to see that my music is going to be played at this vermont mozart festival mm -hmm. they're having a festival based on me <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it's gotta absolute. make that's gotta make a man feel good oh yep. i can't even believe it it's hardly <laughs> it's it's like I'm just ecstatic with joy, mm -hmm. and to hear what they're doing with this festival is extraordinary. It's, mm -hmm. well, for starters, the festival itself, what I was told, um, was around for 37 years, okay. and it was one of, um, what is it, Vermont? Is that how you pronounce it? Vermont. One mm -hmm. of Vermont's Indeed. most cherished summer activities mm -hmm. and events to go to, and the, the, the caliber of playing was amazing, and they played music in these gorgeous settings, and, mm -hmm. and so uh, apparently um, the new festival has, the, the, they're making an effort, it's actually not an effort, it is back mm -hmm. in a new form and a re with a repurposed vision, okay. if you will. Um, what they've told me is that um, rather than um, hiring professional musicians like they did every summer to bring them in, they're getting people that, uh, wonderful fellows okay. that will be, ha that have been awarded full scholarships that are incredible musicians. I've heard these recorded, I've heard the audition tapes, they're amazing. 
We have graduates from 33 different universities, top conservatories throughout the country, mm -hmm. coming to Vermont to play my music. It's going to be incredible, I can't wait. And they're all like 25, 26, 27 years old. So these are young people. These well, yeah. young. I died not too long after their age, that's but true. you know, it happened. <laughs> but young but highly accomplished. Yes, exactly. Yes. And that's what mm -hmm. these fellows are. Mm -hmm. And they're so accomplished in that, and we were so selective that um, it was very competitive to get a spot. Sure. And so the orchestra is going to be extraordinary, and it's going to be... Um, in the heart of the community, which is which is great. It's mm -hmm. something more, something that I'm accustomed to, you know, bringing mm -hmm. music to the people. And uh, the old festival, which was wonderful, I heard played in gorgeous trap family lodge area and sure. Shelburne Farms, and and it was spectacular. And this is going to be spectacular, but in a different way. We're gonna. It's going to be the young. Fellowship Orchestra, with yeah. all these hot shots right out of college, looking <laughs> to play, looking to hone their skills, even more, playing all my music. And on top of it, they get to stay, they're housed, they get room and board at Champlain College mm -hmm. for three weeks. And one of the most important things that makes this festival unique from all, all, all other festivals in the country. I think it's mm -hmm. something that's never been done before, to my knowledge. But then mm -hmm. again, I haven't been around here very long. <laughs> They're incorporating um, all a business plan. So all the fellows that come mm -hmm. have to have ideas before they come. And the, the, the main director of the program has spoken on the phone, had interviews with these young fellows that are just about to launch their career. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a, they have to find their own path. Mm -hmm. Some of them actually already have full-time professional jobs. They, sure. won, they won jobs in the Colorado Symphony, Houston Symphony, one just won Cincinnati Symphony. So the caliber is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but a lot of them are still finding their way, but they're still great players. So mm -hmm. the director uh, is working with them to form a business plan and to create a, have their own marketing strategy, mm. have their own... Um, short-term goals, long-term goals. Um, talk with them more individually about things that interest them. You know, do they want to live in the country? You know, do they see their se envision themselves um, more a city person? Um, do they want to bring their music to? Um, do they want to record? Do they want mm -hmm. to um, teach in schools? Do they want to expand? Um, do they want to work on certain types of music? Right. I mean, you know, whether it be bringing back you know, the classical or perhaps more um, ethnic style with classical approach. Sure. Electric violins, you know, mm -hmm. anything. The, 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 the world is their oyster. They can do yeah. whatever they want. And they're at that ripe young age with all mm -hmm. the talent. And this program is going to help harness that positive energy. And they're going to come here with all that. And they're gonna be, there's going to be some workshops. And they're going to leave with a business plan. So I think that was a very unique thing. And, mm -hmm. and um, that's spectacular because, I mean, I, promoting the music of Mozart is one yes. thing, which is, which yes. is amazing because it's, it's beautiful music. It's oh, gorgeous thank you. music. Thank you. <laughs> and, then, and then being able to do that within, within communities in, in Vermont is another aspect. But, but focusing upon these young people forging careers in the musical field, that, that's yeah. a whole other dimension. Yeah, that's and just, it, it, gives them a it gives them a plan mm -hmm. that they can work with. Whether or not it is their final plan mm -hmm. is... is doesn't matter, but it gives them sure. a set of skills, a skill set that they can use, and then maybe apply it to something else, mm -hmm. and look back in a few years and say, oh, that Vermont Mozart Festival mm -hmm. helped me so much to develop and to become who I am today, and uh, will probably um, come back and visit. And, mm -hmm. you know, we th we're, we're expecting a, a, a big collaborative, um, you know, de developing an alumni, and, right. and um, so this, this thing is just getting off the ground, you mm -hmm. know. And special thanks to NBT Bank for um, being our title sponsor and basically mm -hmm. sponsoring the entire fellowship program. That's you know, great. yeah, we yeah. still need a lot of help <laughs> <laughs> for all the other expenses, as sure. you know. So um, we are, um, of course, selling uh, tickets online at VermontMozartFestival.org, mm -hmm. yeah. and there's going to be annual concerts along from this exciting summer thing that I'm going to talk about more. Okay. There's going to be annual concerts, mm -hmm. probably almost monthly, in Middlebury, where we are, mm -hmm. Burlington, 
at the Burlington Country Club and in Montpelier at Union Elementary School. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is we're going to be playing, it's only a smaller group, we'll be playing string quartets. And the idea is to keep, keep the Mozart Festival going year-round. Sure. And not just for promotional reasons, but to, to, to play this, um, his, this incredible work, mm -hmm. my incredible work, excuse me, <laughs> yep. and bring it to the community sure. and just give people more of an mm -hmm. opportunity to, to really digest mm -hmm. my genius. So, so, we're <laughs> in, so we're in Middlebury. This Middlebury 5.0 is the show. Well, what's the venue in Middlebury or the venues? Where, where are you going to be performing yeah. in Middlebury? Our, our venue, our only venue here mm -hmm. is the, um, the church on 2 Duane Street. What is it? Champlain the, the Valley. Champlain Valley Unitarian, Unitarian Universalist, Universalist Church. Society. It's a big name. Yeah, it is. Champlain Valley <laughs> Unitarian Universalist Church on 2 Duane Street. Court. Court. 2 Duane Court. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's, and I've been there, mm -hmm. and I played there, and the, the acoustics are incredible. It's a beautiful building. Yes. Yeah. And um, so we're going to be there mm -hmm. with a string quartet. Uh, one thing that's a little different is that our festival uses, instead of cello mm -hmm. for a string quartet, we have a, the, the big bass, the double okay. bass playing the cello part, uh, which makes it sound right. like a little orchestra. Mm -hmm. And in my day, which was actually a month ago or so, but <laughs> it, actually when I time traveled, mm -hmm. but it was hundreds of years, mm -hmm. um, we did that sometimes. Sometimes we would okay. fill the lower voice with the bass as opposed to the cello and it sounds extraordinary people yeah, aren't used to no, people never, aren't people are not there. used to hearing a mm -hmm. string quartet with a double bass but Definitely i tell not. you i don't think in, i would want it any other way mm -hmm. i after because i play viola in this group okay so i'm in this and we're going to be playing um on april 30th here in middlebury mm -hmm. at two duane court wonderful the <laughs> cvuus champlain valley <laughs> What is it? Unitarian, Unitarian Universalist, Universalist <laughs> Church at 2 right. Duane Court. Right. 7 p.m. sharp. Mm -hmm. Super affordable. Tickets, 15 bucks. Students, always free under 18. All students, right. all ages, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Kids, Fabulous. students, show up. Mm -hmm. We play for you, free. But um, adults have a very, very affordable $15 thing. And that's mm -hmm. the thing. With the old festival, um, or music in general, ticket mm -hmm. prices going through the roof, right? Tends to be 25, expensive. 35. Yeah. We're bringing it to the people. All tickets are $15 or less. And mm -hmm. it will be for the summer, too, the outdoor thing. Okay. The outdoor concerts with all the, with all the fellows. Mm -hmm. 15 bucks. Bring your picnic table. No, don't bring a table. Bring your picnic <laughs> basket. Yeah. Have a picnic. <laughs> it's uh, going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. And we're incorporating other awesome things with at this th so it's not just music you can go and mm -hmm. where there's going to be it's at the um um what's it called the rotary club okay let me give you that little address they gave me this gizmo <laughs> here this uh, e <laughs> they e can be handy uh, they're, they're useful sometimes uh, they. yeah <laughs> it, it's crazy these these contraptions um uh -huh. it's like a light i don't know where the mm -hmm. fire goes it's like so <laughs> it says Bur veterans memorial park in south burlington okay now People can come, 15 bucks, it's like mm -hmm. nothing. Then, all the kids are free. Right. There's going to be this thing called Mozart Madness. Fitting. Mozart Madness, okay. And like, that's a that's basketball like league. It's a, yes, okay, it's a so basketball it league. Yes. All right. But yeah, pre-show <laughs> games, um, three on three <laughs> for the community, for kids. And it's mm -hmm. right in the heart, so people can oh. you just walk there from South Burlington, mm -hmm. come on in. And there's gonna, mm -hmm. so there's going to be a league. And See, that's um, a connection I never would have anticipated. No, I mean, that... Mozart and basketball. I, no, we're, we're mixing it up. Mm -hmm. now, okay, I so there's going to be that yeah. pregame. Okay. Now, during show, mm -hmm. during the fellows, when they're playing my, my glorious music, mm -hmm. there's going to be... This is something totally mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. never, I never even it's heard of... You're I, I never even heard of this until I got to this century. Sure. But apparently people are into this uh, exercise thing called the the yoga or something to oh, that I've effect heard, yeah I've yes heard of it, yeah. and so mm -hmm. an exercise on mats outdoors and mm -hmm. they do these things so th they have uh, they're going to have a section quadrant uh, off, so off to the side and mm -hmm. you know where people can do their um, their spa activities along mm -hmm. with the music and along with the to the tempo of the music led by 
um, the gurus of the tra the trainers mm -hmm. that do this. So they'll bring their classes right. and, and whatnot. So they'll mm -hmm. get to be outside and they'll get to, to experience the Mozart and incorporate it into their workout. See, I could see that. You know? That makes sense to so me. So we're mixed. Yeah. And so this is, mm -hmm. uh, again, um, thinking outside the box, similar to right. what, what we're trying to do with the fellows, mm -hmm. to, to teach them that there's more than one way to, mm -hmm. to get somewhere in this world using your art form. Absolutely. You know, so we're bringing them in. Mm -hmm. uh, we're people will come to do that. People come to do the basketball. And then they'll mm -hmm. listen to the music. There's going to be a food cart with organic food there, like just this amazing food cart mm -hmm. um, where if people get hungry from their workout, they can just go right on over there mm -hmm. and, do, and do their thing. So it's going to be very festive. Yeah, well, people, you know? I think a lot of people think of classical music as, as a little bit stuffy, kind of old-fashioned and kind of antiquated. And Nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it for it to be stuffy, and right. I'm upset about well, that. Yeah, clearly it's fun. That's, yeah, that's it's fun. It's fun. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's 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 supposed to be joyful, mm -hmm. and and uh, you know, mm -hmm. there's okay, it's okay to have to be serious about it. I wrote a lot of serious music, but this is not so. Mm -hmm. There will be serious music, and that'll probably be the, be the, some of the slower movements, mm -hmm. you know, and then. Hopefully the yoga people won't fall asleep during their meditation or whatever, but right. then they'll wake up for the allegro at the end. And uh -huh. But um, and see, it seems like a lot of the things that y that you're doing are geared towards bringing a younger crowd uh, into the music. Really yes, students free, yep. eighteen and under, free of charge. They can they can come. They can you know we encourage them to. Um, they can even run around. There's a playground in the back mm -hmm. where, you know, if they get if they get bored, mm -hmm. they can go on the on the playground there. So this park is very special. There's a nice uh, amphitheater mm -hmm. that has ha hasn't been used enough, and so we're we're making great use of that. The city of South Burlington has embraced the festival, and the Rotary Club is generously letting us use the facilities and 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 there. So we mm -hmm. have all these wonderful partnerships with the city of South Burlington and it's just it's just incredible how how they've been reaching out we still have to reach a lot more people because mm -hmm. most people don't know that we're we're there this new festival this new repurposed festival mm -hmm. is is coming back sure you know or they don't quite understand it yet they remember the old one mm -hmm. and um, but they don't quite understand what's going on and that's one of the reasons I'm here to, mm -hmm. to tell people to show your support, come to our concert on April 30th here in Middlebury. It's right. going to be fantastic, and I will be there. I don't <laughs> think I can wear my wig, but I will be there. <laughs> are there are there other dates when you're going to be in Middlebury, kind of down the road? Yes. Right? Well, the following month we will be here. Um, so in May, there's a there's a, there's like I, it's the weekend of the 23rd, 4th, right around there. Okay. W same same location, seven o'clock. Right. And um, so you, we can uh, find out how does this thing work. More <laughs> about that. More, more, more about that. Oh, there. Oh, no, I lost it. Anyway. So, I, it, I so if they miss you in April, there will be there will be other opportunities in Middlebury. Then. That, well, yes, it's but they won't they won't miss us because they will right. show up. <laughs> Where's the camera? So you, can <laughs> you will show up at my concert. <laughs> so you're gonna be swamped. April. Be a deluge. April twenty. <laughs> What did I say? April 30th is what I said? I believe so. April yep. 30th. <laughs> yeah. To Duane Court, <laughs> Champlain Valley Unitarian Universalist Church. Mm -hmm. I got it? Yeah, I think you got it, yeah. Well, it's a society. But society. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and those guys yep. are awesome, too. I mean, mm -hmm. we, the, the, the sport has been um, overwhelming. It's tremendous. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, just, we're just thrilled. We're just and there thrilled. Is, there's something really, really special about hearing that music performed live. Yes, like hearing it in the flesh rather yeah. than through yes. an, an electronic device. Yeah, it's a completely different experience yeah. when it when it's live. You can really hear the subtleties. You can you can feel the the musicians' um, emotion emotions. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. Mistakes happen. Right. The audience is um, there's a there's a connection between what's happening on stage and what the audience is feeling, mm -hmm. and we, we we want to the audience is just as important as the performers themselves mm -hmm. in terms of, 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 of what happens mm -hmm. um, 
between between the two sure. and, and so that's what's really special you so it's know? a relationship really when you it's a com yeah. it's a total relationship mm -hmm. and to be part of that on either side of the stage mm -hmm. is something special and I and I think that um, we the, the musicians that I'm working with mm -hmm. for the, these string quartets that we're doing mm -hmm. we're doing the um, uh, they're called the Milanese quartets I okay. wrote them during my time in Milan so I have some right. Italian influence in them uh -huh. if you listen for that and it's they're short mm -hmm. um, mostly three movements and um, they're very I wrote them when I was very young I was mm -hmm. like 15 years old 16 maybe wow and them and they're just they're just ex I well I think they're extraordinary mm -hmm. I don't want to <laughs> you know toot my horn too much but I think <laughs> I did a fine job <laughs> so the st string quartet as well. They're, they're, there's an intimacy to the to the string quartet. It, it's uh, you know it's a small group. It's a yeah yes. Kind of it draws you in. I think uh, like for me at least more so than a big symphonic. Well, it's a <laughs> real conversation mm -hmm. when you have a smaller group. You know the violin will be playing. You know mm -hmm. you know the thing together. The viola might say no, I don't think that, and the violin will say oh <laughs> yes I do, and the cello will say no, well, I don't want to do that. So <laughs> they'll have a conversation as they're playing. Mm -hmm. You can listen for the interaction mm -hmm. and then they all will all come together mm -hmm. sometimes one will slow down ever mm -hmm. so you know tempo so slow and the other person people have to lead and, mm -hmm. and follow the leader and and you'll see all this interaction happening so it's so no performance is alike mm -hmm. you know you'll like recordings you listen to the same thing you know sure. a lot of them sound similar or uh, or especially if you press the the button mm -hmm. To whatever you do, that what is yep. this thing? We didn't have this in my day. This <laughs> every it, it, it takes it back to the it, it <laughs> takes it back to the beginning and mm -hmm. does it again, and that's all the same. Mm -hmm. So it's never going to be the same mm -hmm. from one performance to the next. And then this festival um, likes the music to be very exciting. Mm -hmm. We push the boundaries, I think, in terms of what mm -hmm. what um, my music is is all about you know we, we we don't play it too safe we like mm -hmm. we like it to be exciting okay. so the audience is really 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 involved absolutely yeah <laughs> <laughs> so Mo you, you mentioned Mozart died fairly young but very prolific in that in that brief span of years he was oh, a lot of he yeah yeah he, tremendous I wrote amount of music. I wrote hundreds and hundreds mm -hmm. and hundreds of pieces mm -hmm. you know so many that they have a special categorizing system for me. The Kerschel, some guy named Kerschel. Okay. <laughs> Kerschel 59, mm -hmm. Kerschel 142, Kerschel mm -hmm. 98, which is cool. You know, mm -hmm. I've got my own system of um, categor categories. It's gonna I make heard you, about it's that. It's going to make yeah. you feel special. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't know why they just say <laughs> Amadeus number uh -huh. 52. I uh -huh. mean, I think there's only one of me. But. So there's, some, you know, there's a vast array of, of Mozart music. Do, do you ever drift into other composers music or is it strictly Mozart at it, the Mozart festival um, at this point we I think we will be drifting into other stuff okay. but for yeah. for year one of mm -hmm. this new project uh, Mozart for example Mozart wrote a lot of concerti mm -hmm. okay so solo bassoon solo flute so we're featuring a lot of our fellows to play mm -hmm. a solo in front of the orchestra you know yeah. virtuoso pieces virtuosic mm -hmm. Their technique is incredible. Their musicianship, so um, so that of course is Mozart. So we want to we want to play the flute one, the the mm -hmm. violin, several violin, um, bassoon concerti, mm -hmm. horn. So there's a lot of concertos. So we're, so that is like half of a program. Then we'll do my symphony. So there's not a lot of room left. So this year we are just doing mostly sure. mostly almost all Mozart. Yep. Just for this year. I think we're going to branch out in the future, mm -hmm. and do and do some other things. Um, Next month, here at the uh, Two Duane Court, mm -hmm. sure. Champlain <laughs> Valley Unitarian <laughs> Universalist Society. It's got to flow so naturally. By yes. the time you're done um, <laughs> we're playing. We're playing. Um, we're playing Haydn. We're playing Mozart quartets, but they're called the Haydn quartets. Okay. So he, Mozart, myself, <laughs> was paying homage to his this um, mm -hmm. composer Haydn, who really was the, the grandfather of mm -hmm. solidifying. The quartets, and he, he was he was quite extraordinary in, mm -hmm. in just sort of getting it to be a great genre, mm -hmm. you know. So, so a lot of all of those pieces are called the Haydn quartets, dedicated to 
to my sure. good friend Haydn. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you you play the viola. I play the that's viola. Your, that's your instrument. That's that's it. Uh -huh. Are yes. there any are there any viola concerti? Is that well? Not Mozart didn't write any. He, right. he did write the Symphonia Concertant, mm -hmm. and this summer at South Burlington, we have two sisters coming to play it. It's for violin and viola, okay. and it's one of, in my opinion, my greatest work. Mm -hmm. It's it's a duo, uh, E flat major. It's it's just the Mozart Symphonia Concertant for violin and viola. Two sisters, two tremendously talented sisters coming up. Mm -hmm. One is currently graduating from um, Rice University, one of the best music schools, and one is in the New World Symphony okay. in Miami, right. uh, which is uh, the, one of the, the top training orchestras in the country. And so they're coming up, and they're going to perform that. Uh, so we will get some viola solo. Mm -hmm. Definitely get some viola right. solo, but it's actually mm -hmm. a viola duo. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah. Sure. Yeah, so that's that's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to can't wait to be there for that. Well, this is th part this is it. such exciting stuff. I, 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 it I, is. I'm going to be I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm I'm a big Bach fan. So yeah. So Bach Bach is is number oh. one for me, but Mozart Bach is amazing, glorious. There's the Middlebury has an incredible Bach festival that I mm. hope everybody can can make it to. Right. Yeah. Actually, our concert conflicts with it a little bit, so. <laughs> Tough choices. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I, that's such a great festival. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think there's plenty of community to, sure. to, um, to, to go around to different mm -hmm. events. I don't but know. I mean, such exciting, such I mean, it's inspiring stuff. Bringing oh, bringing yeah. that beauty to to a new audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just I, a wonderful, I can't, wonderful mission. Yes, yes, we're mm -hmm. we're really really thrilled, and um, mm -hmm. I couldn't be be happier. We just. Um, we're just getting started, so we just want people to join our, follow us on the Facebook and the, the Twitter and the Instagram <laughs> and all that stuff. And just it's very bizarre, a man in brocade talking about yeah, well, Facebook I, and Twitter. Well, I'm, le I'm just <laughs> learning about these things. Very anachronistic. Huh? I'm just learning about all these things, and they're, it's fascinating to me, but if that's where people like to go to, mm -hmm. to, to, um, to connect on the 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 social spider web what is it so <laughs> good enough good enough so we'll something that. like yep. that yep. <laughs> then th then more power to them uh, well thank you so much for for coming on the show it, it really has been a delight oh it's my pleasure and just remember mm -hmm. mozartfestival.org mm -hmm. come <laughs> join us and um come to the concert on april 30th here in middlebury if you can it's yeah. going to be it's going to be wonderful, and just, just mm -hmm. think about what you're supporting mm -hmm. and the, the fellows that are coming and how we're bringing young people to Vermont, millennial-type age. People, you know, people yeah. are often leaving, I hear, Vermont and not coming true. back. So that's another aspect of this festival, you know, right. bringing back um, fired-up um, some talented and gifted, talent and gifted sure. individuals with drive to, to Vermont. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, so, you know, the sky's the limit with this, yeah. so... Wonderful so on so many levels. Yeah, so please join us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you for having me. Oh, it, it's been such a pleasure. Yeah. So until next time, drive safe, and may all your mischief be of the lawful persuasion. <laughs>